What up, what up, what up? Welcome to another episode of the Battle Bros Podcast. We got BZB, Magic, and Million Dollar Marquee in this jump. Uh, what's up? What's up, guys? How y'all feeling? What? I'm feeling good, feeling great. Okay, feeling great, feeling good. How are you, Magic? How are you doing? Another Tuesday, bro. I can't call it, man. Feeling blessed. You know? Facts, facts. Mm-hmm. So, um, so today we're gonna get into actually a a battle rap from the shy. So we got who we got? Marquee seven oh eight. We we got uh Devil the Kid okay. versus Law the Dragon. Law the Dragon. Okay. Yeah. And then you the one that actually picked this battle. How you how did you come across these people? I I've been knowing Law for a long time. Um he just got in the battling. Like around the pandemic, I want to say so, like 2019, 2020, something like that. And he nice, you know. This is one of the first battles I seen him do, and I had never heard of Devil the Kid, and he was nice too. So you know, I was like, man, both these dudes, like this is like a classic to me. So okay. I figured I share with some people that like battling for sure. You know, some guys y'all might never heard of, right? Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So we go ahead and get right into it. Hey. Okay, okay. <laughs> My man Law the Drag. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't you love it when it happens? Thomas, bets off. Let's have a good battle just instead. And then jumped on live with some dirty sheets up on his bed. This nigga dead. Fuck you, Tom Bell. We got Law the Dragon versus. Y'all know about this brother's skills. Should we both need dental work? So this the battle of the crooked grills. <laughs> about 10 years ago, I was just pimping still. Fucking all type of bitches, so I don't get no fuck. How this pussy feel? Devil, you popping pussy? Okay, cool. I got a couple bucks. Pull out. This bitch get to dancing. Look like this pussy fuck. No activist. Just the content I lean to is too high tech. And your vision mm-hmm. way too blurry to scare me with all these blind threats. Cock eyed bitch. Fifth to the face. <laughs> like he had a drink straight. Freeze him. Double dead in the ocean. He float in the sea straight. You a cobra. Straight. Average ass MC with all this gun filler. I came in fully loaded. Talk sister to this little dumb nigga. My devoted. <laughs> Dedication to demolish devil is devilish. You spoke mm. ill on your opponent and the people got you together quick. And cheese put this combination together, making my food perfect. My cripple homie said he wanted to get you to see if his foot working. That's different, right? Right. Yeah. 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 That's different, right? Bars too exclusive. I got the right description. Self-made, nigga. I do what I want. Ain't gotta ask the wife permission. This bitch like, I get off at 3.30. I might be late, y'all. While I'm at this battle, I'ma make what you would've made that weak ass day job. Pussies gon' pop and shit on the net, exclusive for y'all. His only thing is merch, hand drawn from my supporters and same friend who know me. Who know you besides your block of these battle rappers, ugly motherfucker? Look like they done rediscovered Velociraptor. See who's sporadic. <laughs> Raising his voice, thinking y'all get excited, but low key, these people really scared. Thinking that you might bite on my typewriter shit. I press button, slide when the paper ring. I'm glad this shit, man, this shit is for free. But I'ma still take this footage when I kill a scene. Peep the scheme, this Juneteenth, I'm selling Eddie's like bean pies. I'm fresh as fuck, and who I see dirty walking down King Drive. It's Dusty Devin with a ball back, heading to Washington Park, could've took the shit and beat his brains out so y'all can gather his thoughts, nigga, stick to playing softball. You ain't the best at running base. If you was a good hustler, you wouldn't have that job in the first fucking place. You can talk about me being old, not having no battle tapes. I pop you, now you stone cold, didn't take much to rattlesnake. My It's not a real bar if they don't push you, though. <laughs> <laughs> so he probably gonna say something about a six nine. 
Bozo eyes, split your wig and have it red on both sides. You trust this clown, you put on the show, they love your animation. I heard Mo handle the bars, he can get you situated. Give you some lines to blow on your Johnny Depp. Beat you to you, can't feel your face, you think you broke the death. You have to do this now, like I'm scared. Boy, I'm trying to kill, make a movie since it's us. Wait, what'd he say? He said, let me go back. He said, my hair color, so he probably gonna say something about six nine. Nah, I heard that then part. He doing, then he started doing clown bars. He said, Crusty the Clown. And then he took it to the Simpsons. He talked about Mo. Mo was the bartender on the Simpsons. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> He, he he ran the oh, scheme man. like it was it was yeah. weaving through type shit. <laughs> Damn, I just got loud. <laughs> <laughs> he rapping shorty. Though, he rapping shorty. So he probably gonna say something about a six nine. <laughs> Bozo eyes, split your wig and have it red on both sides. You trust this clown? You put on the show. They love your animation. I heard Mo handle the bars. He can get you situated. Give you some lines to blow. Mm -hmm. Johnny Depp. Beat you to you. Shit. Can't feel your face. You think you close to death. You have to do this now. Like I'm scared. Boy, I'm trying to kill. Make a movie since it's us. I'm going to stop you to my Jordan pill. I'm trying to win this. Oh. <laughs> I, listening. I was kind of nice. I'm trying to win this shit straight. I want to see how Jordan feel. Last dance. You're not coming back. So just enjoy the feel. Jack, son. I ain't talking hipster store. Yeah. Ah, pack son, you a shooter, put a hat on that pistol with all that cap gun. This a game. Y'all like the marble when all the cap come. Crazy, you ain't how you do it. Oh, 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 <laughs> to the fact he ain't rhyming well, play a different role, beat the fuck up his groove. Tommy Pickles, I to play Mega Man. Why well, didn't take much to rattlesnake? Yeah, go. I go. So he probably gonna say something about a six nine. Bozo eyes, split your wig and have it red on both sides. You trust this clown, you put on the show, they love your animation. I heard Mo handle the bars, he can get you situated. Give you some lines to blow on your Johnny Depp. Beat you to you, can't feel your face, you think you close to death. You have to do this now, like I'm scared. Boy, I'm trying to kill. Make a movie since it's us, I'ma stop you to my Jordan pill. I'm trying to win this shit oh. That's probably my favorite part. Hey, that was kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to win this shit straight. I want to see how Jordan feel. Last dance, you're not coming back, so just enjoy the feel. Jack, son, I ain't talking hipster store. Yeah. Ah, pack, son, you a shooter, put a hat on that pistol with all that cap gun. This a game. Y'all like the marble when all the cap come. Crazy, you ain't hiding. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 mm -hmm. That was crazy. That was kind of nice. What you say? Keep rapping, shorty. Keep rapping, shorty. <laughs> Let him work. Let's go. No hits to score. Ah, pack, son. You a shooter for the hat on that pistol with all that cap gun. This a game. Y'all like the marble when all the cap come. Crazy, you ain't hide your dukes up when it came to Mega Man. Why folks in them had you on the ropes? You should have tagged a friend. Your homies ain't want no smoke. Mm. Like, I got asthma, man. I leave your plasma all in the alley. Got a new TV. No Jew now. But they'll know your clap like UTP in the end. That was, that was crazy. Mm. That was crazy. Hey, I'm listening, bro. I hear you. In the end, I'm always on point, like a new TP. You thought because I'm not from this village, you wouldn't see me? Bang, bang, hope you understand me like I listen to Chief Keith. Or you can get your young chop and you can get the beats. Don't ever think because I sell edibles that this shit is sweet. Still a steamroller and crush your body since you in the streets. Uh-oh, it look like crazy legs can't bust a move. Cusco with the llama, guaranteed to fuck up his groove. Tommy Pickles, out the playpen, always keep a tool. You can't get an alley, you the dragon just to finish you. I let one off, it's ultimate madness. Sick chaos for this kid. I keep an ace on me, but we can throw big hands up in this bitch. You are real at bars if y'all ain't catch my drift there. I'm generous, and if he ain't seen it, I keep eight bucks spare. School, how I put this shit together, boy, you an intestine. Oh, yeah. Fuck up. 
was doing. How I put this shit together, boy, you intestine. Drop your stock. And teach you something. Either way, you get in lesson. Don't try to come and talk that street shit. Just like you know it all. My homies got the strap over the shoulder with protected overall. Mm. Then I got the plug on fill up. We know you need the gas. Devin wanna play kid games. Leave him in a freezer. Tag, choke the kid. You sent someone, probably pay just to have sex. Beat the kid so bad, they gon' call DCFS. Who told this kid he could play with this creature? Nigga, this ain't Dragon Tales. Kid, get a box hair through to the fact he ain't rhyming well. Play a different role, get the blade, brown handle to his fade. I'll scalp him like Lieutenant Aldo Rain and Glorious Bastard. My flow casting is stay slick, you basic. I thought beat you today, we go basic. We gon' start this so funny and get you some LASIK. I kill you in the yard, the neighbors complaining the fragrance. You know what, adjacent. Bitch, I'm your replacement. You tried to make up your foundation. Matt give you a facelift, conceal the ratchet. Cold gang for his method of beat this bitch face off. Drop you out of nowhere like albums without release dates. Why do this? Why do this? Why do this? Give you this 40 like you a thot bitch. Cut your grandma here, boom, boom, boom. Before that eyes see you, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Give you this 40, like you a thot bitch. Cut your grandma here, boom, boom, boom. Before that hot shit, shit. you not this. I'm gonna kill at this point. Right, Figured I should stop it. I'm new to battle rap, but already gonna be the top pick. Drago, fuck top nigga, rap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say devil's back on dignity. Uh huh. Welcome back. <laughs> I wanna know what you've been doing since you've been on the main stage. It's always somebody. And what you've been doing to maintain. I say I've been doing the same shit. I've been doing since I started. And that's gang bang, dick face. Oh, and I'm damn near 30. Got all my little niggas calling me Big Snake. But for that gun talk, these rounds they expose a fake gangster. But I wouldn't expect nothing less from this big K. And you a disgrace. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Sounds kind of nice. And you a disgrace. <laughs> to anything fighting for and the shit is major. Right. Is that all this protesting shit? Who chose to name yourself Law? That there alone shows me that he's a faker. Mm -hmm. The only law of respect comes with different papers. You fucking trash. Oh, oh, that was nice. You know, yeah. bang, bang out here, nigga. That was kind of nice. You fucking trash, Ben. <laughs> if these bucks happen to hit your family, well, you could just say that we cashed in. Mm -hmm. Even approach their neighbors, mm -hmm. kicking the doors like, boom. Are y'all no low talk? I'm going to say, are y'all no law too? They're like, we don't know law. Well, I bet they know who he is when they see who we drag in. And they just laugh. Ooh, okay. Nigga to rest. <laughs> I'm talking put him in the ground. Just had another baby. I ain't got time for playing. Yeah, I've been riddling ways to sit a little nigga down. Mm. Pop used to sell weed when I was a young nigga. He said he wasn't raising no punks. He kept the killers all around. Remember taking that seven out to go smoke shit with the dogs. Yeah, I was literally sneaking up out the pound, you fucking goof. No. You don't realize that double the no. fucking truth? No whipping, but it's fully loaded. And the test is dry, I grab his son, then take off his fucking roof. This chrome rim, something pretty. It sound different. Yeah, I did the mod to the muffler too. And this battle gonna be like pushing a Volkswagen, nigga. Ask me why. Wow. Because as soon as I leave, y'all peep the recap cards, and the only thing in front of me is the double use. Oh, that was kind of nice. 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 I say I'm wild and good and buck. I hit his eyelids and stick shit. Hit like a Hellcat, sound like a hybrid. Oh, no. You stick the tan up. I'm I said I'm wild, good, man. good aim, Boom. I hit his eyelids, mm -hmm. stick shift, hit like a hellcat, sound like a hybrid, mm -hmm. two shots, that's that's crazy. Crazy. like I found him, then caps off, fifth to the heart, shit bring a whole new meaning, a moment of silence, yeah. nigga, you ever had a nigga try to take your life? Well, to make my long story short, I've been living with violence, mm -hmm. bulldog, that bitch starving around them late nights, yeah, from a block away, you can hit this bitch highland, boy, if I get pissed in, these blazers come out. And it'll stop your growth and hair out of nowhere. Oh, y'all don't peep the scheme? Mm -hmm. Think Rashid, cause with this patch, I'ma show him what wild is. The buck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause with this patch, I'ma show him what wild is. The buck. He be reaching, but he be getting a... <laughs> Ready He getting cut from the caps like Shylands. Night work, dark nights. Give him that Joker face. Everybody wonder why he's always in a good mood? Cause even this frown grand boy, I'm from Britain. Mm. Mm. That was fire. That was fire. All right, hold on one second. 
I'm just make sure Blake got in the bed. Hold on one second. I'm gonna definitely ask some questions. I'm a liar. I'm my bad. Go ahead. Nah, nah, you cool. You cool. Oh, Y'all know I claim that block because them the niggas who made me. But growing up in the streets, don't take away from none of the women who raised me. You know, okay. three sisters, no real brothers. Really ain't have pops. Really grew up with my mother. Coming up with women, that shit would drive niggas crazy. But them bitches was Sorry. tough. It's fuck. And when it came to fighting, my duke showed me that I can sit a nigga down like he raised me. Nigga. Oh. Oh. I like that shit, shorty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I fuck with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Scared straight. Type the claim like he with that action, but won't know the first thing to do with a fed case. Nah. But me, I give no fucks. Never been a barber, but I'll line him up. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 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 I say leave him scared straight. Type the claim like he with that action, but won't know the first thing to do with a fed case. But me, I give no fucks. Never been a bottle, but I'll line them up. Uh -huh. And I've been known to clip a beard if you ain't keeping your head straight. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Corners knew it wasn't something right by the color of his blood. They said it was lead based. Mm -hmm. Trying to ride the wrong wave around mm -hmm. him won't help you check water. It'll only leave us with red lakes. Mm -hmm. Change your ID and post a pic on IG. And where they put the measurements, it'll only be six feet. Wait, this way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is where that game changed. This is where that game changed. If your bills do, that's when we generate power and bring the meals to. And we cutting shit off before the night's out. Basically, after you see O's, he gonna need meds if he ain't dead. Because I'm taking your lights out. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, O's, med, that's calm, Ed. Yeah. Bitch, I'm taking your lights out. Oh, oh, calm, Ed, bars. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. COs, Miz, that's calm, Ed. Yeah. Bitch, I'm taking your lights out, boy. I slide up, uh -huh. line them up. Uh -huh. I get him in a view. Nina talk, he the one for the job. Let's get him in a view. Uh -huh. You should've knew. Uh -huh. Get that nothing uh -huh. to the boss. Well, leave the status of your job critical, but watch him change his mood. But four hour yeah. shifts, like working 10 or 2. Uh -huh. Bang! Mm. Oh. Oh. Nah, not like this, because I might miss. So it's two hands to steady the steel. I'm riding 10 and 2. If he riding with you, then I got two nickels. Y'all do the math. That's 5 and 5. I'm giving 10 and 2, nigga. New I ain't even supposed to have this bitch by law, but I got this bitch by law. He's by law. Bang! It's by law. It was too easy to not go for. That was crazy. It was too easy to not go for in the battle. Yeah, it's just where you put it. How serious y'all expect me to take off? I drunk it. I mean, it's like me Boy. going on Facebook Live loop. The word about to watch me break law. Honestly, I ain't really had too much to say to law. Gun smuggler. I've been a king, bitch. Snuck in his Nina. Tech in seven. I ain't come to play with law. Nina, I ain't come to play with law. Oh man, yeah. Right. Damn. I don't thing. watch your footage, nigga. You ain't shit. Drums everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Drums everywhere. <laughs> Drums everywhere. <laughs> Got niggas thinking I'm making my own band with a name like Lord of Dragon. You think we supposed to believe that you holding your own man? <laughs> I choke him out. Bring a whole new meaning and taking the law into my own hands. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bad Chinese New Year. Everybody about to witness the Dragon Fair. New strap. That imported gap just came through the mail. Right. You don't know nothing about that. You from a land of make believe. Who gives a fuck about any story that Dragon tells, my nigga? But keep your <laughs> I watched that show growing up. I like that show growing up. My nigga, but keep your kung fu. <laughs> Let's just keep this shit wrapped, Dragon. I got that glow. No Bruce Leroy, but y'all about to see me black, Dragon. Shoot you in your C2. Show up, there won't be another sequel. Last Dragon. He came back and he spit the block on that one. He thought he predicted it, but he missed the pocket. He brought it back.
for battle I say all my bitches sick. Silence the grip. I got buddy. So I got coke fitting, you know they all day. This bitch leukemia, flash on it. So whatever I can't spot, then she can, sir. And the only way to resolve this is a machine with a ball head, you fucking fool. You ain't know what I do to you? You asked for this shit. I guess you planned your own funeral. I'm a five point star nigga, but I can't lie. I fuck with a few of the gangsters. I can go folks show me my first Glock 22. That bitch is beautiful. That's my first choice of weapon. I call that bitch a Hoover Deuce, my nigga. But that new pack this game in. Just got it shipped across the border. Shit so pure, you can cut the shit with a quarter. I said, shit so pure, you can cut the shit with a quarter. I've been a criminal with intent to make you a special victim. And with this unit I got, it's guaranteed to put law and order, my nigga. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I said, go. Go ahead. Let's go. And I promise I'm right back, and you can bark at all these other niggas. But ain't no bully. Oh, man, man. Oh, man. Bitch, right back. I'm not the bully. And honestly, I'm doing more than you fuckers. This one, oh. When I'm done, ain't no more, you fuckers. Nigga, my. Yo, let's go. That was a good battle, man. That was a good battle. That was a good battle. Who y'all got? I say it's debatable. I don't think you could go wrong either way. Oh me. I'm biased, so you know I'm pick my homie. <laughs> but that shit was raw. I, I like to see it. You know what I'm saying? That's you not a, never want to yeah. see like when it's when it's two people that people don't really know like that. You don't want to see no slaughter because it's not good for the sport. You yeah. know, there's people that people don't know. It's like, okay, well, who's this guy? You know what I'm saying? You want to see, like, competition, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. No, that was a good battle. I like that one. That was good. He got more battles? Yeah, he got a couple more. He got a couple more. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to have to look and see, you know. some. I, I, wanna, I only want to bring classics to this, you know? Right, no, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Sure. No, that yeah. was good. I like that one. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that for sure. I don't got a winner. Yeah, <laughs> it was just one of those. Yeah, they was putting it in, though. Mm -hmm. No homo. <laughs> they was putting it in, no homo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's sad. So programmed. That's a half baked shirt. You know it. Mr. Nice Guy. That's my G right you know there. It. I swear. <laughs> Watching this movie early. I'm like, you know what? I do got a nice guy shirt. <laughs> That's funny. Right. What uh what y'all want to talk about today? I think I got a couple couple things, but and leave it open to the pod. That's whatever. Alright, what you um let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, how do you feel about a battle rapper that consistently only goes two rounds? Like, okay, but here's a here's a better question. I would say, it it like can a can a battle rapper have two rounds of fire, and then the third round like lackluster, or like them choking the third round? Is it a difference? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Say it again. So, like, if I have two fire rounds, but then my third is, like, let's say I cons I consistently choke my third round, or I'm consistently, like, eh, it was just, it was just okay. Is there a difference? Do you get, do you get judged more on either? Do you feel like? Uh, you take it first, Magic. What'd you think? Um... Well, see me, I'm on the mindset that, um, you know, we agreed like in the contract, I mean, you know, we agreed for three rounds. So I feel like that's, um, when you don't have three rounds, I mean, whether you do it on purpose, like, all right, as long as I got these two, these are going to be fired. Like the third round, I can just, I can just say whatever. I already got two rounds, but I just feel like it's, um, I mean, 
I get, I get, I get the point of like, I mean, as long as you win two out of three rounds, and technically you got the battle. But I feel like you know you should always put your your best, you know, like best foot forward, like with all three. Especially like, cause like for like you know for somebody like like a Geechee Gotti, like you know like he don't never slack off. You know like the first round to be like you know like all right, I'm here, I'm finna, I'm finna cook. Second round would be pretty much the same thing, but then you know he's always known for like having like a, a classic third round, like or like oh it's the third round. You already know what Geechee about to be on, but it's like you know certain people it's just like they they satisfy with just two rounds because it's like technically all you gotta do is win two rounds, right? Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I see. I see what y'all saying. Um, I don't. I'm not super high on the penalty. I mean, if you just don't have any bars at all, is that what you mean? Like people that just like, like how we seen niggas in they rounds early. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When, is that what you talking about? Or are you talking about like e- they way. just be kind of like weak? Yeah, either way or both. Or both. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It really depend on what what who they going up against. You know, because if it's if they battling somebody that's bringing three tough rounds, then you gonna you know you gonna lose no matter no matter how hard mm-hmm. the other two rounds was. You know, um, unless you just had like. Versity is some shit in one of your rounds where it just made everybody forget everything else that happened in the battle. Then maybe, you know, but uh uh-huh. Yeah. I just I just don't like choking a battle rap, you know, period. Like I'm just not with it. Like like you know what you came like you know what you signed up for, bro. Like right. you know, I know it's different under them lights and all of that stuff. But just like in any profession, you know what I'm saying? Once you come to the job, you're like, ooh, this could happen. Okay, what can I do to like not make this happen? You know, that's any that's any profession, you know. Yeah. So especially you getting a you know, I don't know, you getting a bag off of it. It's like, man, come on, man. Yeah, like you said, yeah. like not to cut you off, bro, like it's it's about being professional. Like, I mean, you know, like and then, like, you know, the fans, they're they not coming to hear you, like, just give, like, just two rounds. And then, I mean, not that they knowing that you're just going to get two, but, I mean, they came to hear three, five rounds from both battles. And I feel like that kind of takes away from, like, the competition. Well, not the competition, but, like, the battle itself, because then it's going to be like, oh, yeah, remember, bro, bro choked or bro ended his round short. So that's a definite win for this guy. Like, I like when battles are just, like, like determine like who had the better material in each round. So Right, what you was gonna say, bro? Um, I then if I got it this way, but nah, I, the picky up piggyback oh, on what oh. he's saying, nah, for sure. Um that is that is ideal, you know, to be able to determine who have the best material. You know, that's really what you want to go off of. But with you know, it, it it be all kind of shit nowadays. Well, I guess I guess all that still goes into, you know, what they brought to the battle. So, you know, I was gonna say all the antics and shit be getting factored in, but that's still, you know, because it's more like theater huh. than anything. You know, yeah. like that's what it's, you know, that's what it closely resembles. If anything, it's theater. So it's like whatever it takes to win, I guess. How do you, you feel know. about how do you feel about antics in a battle? Or it like depends on what they do. Props and stuff. Sometimes they be raw, sometimes they be cheesy. It's a fine yeah. line. When Sharon had uh he he had brought a fake gun mm-hmm. and Kayshawn knocked it out of his hand, and then that's also the night that he got slapped. I was wow. like, right. Yeah, you shouldn't have did that, bud. Probably shouldn't have did that. I hate the bluff prop. Oh, uh, like when when the bars leading up to something, and then they look yeah. like they finna bring something in, and then they be like, "Ah, nah, just playing," or like they finna bring somebody I like in. And, ah, nah, I hate I like that. that. Shit. <laughs> nobody ever go for it. Like nobody ever be like heart beating or nothing. You know, <laughs> like well, so you can't like, show it. You can't show it on stage. 
you know. I know what you mean. You can't show it, but it'd be kind of funny, like, oh, snap, you know, that's the that's the dude that he said he robbed a million times. But it's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's not really him. Like, oh, man, I wanted to see it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. If, but, you know, it, it's got to be tastefully done, you know. Yeah. Tastefully done. That's the name of the game. Yeah, that's funny though. Um, shoot. Oh, you know what? Okay, so you know how everything come full circle. Um, do you think that we'll ever, bro? Say he'll be right back. Do you think that we'll ever uh see, um, what you call it? What? Um, man, you got hella ankles. <laughs> rapping over beats in the battle. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. You hope so? Yeah, I think. I think. Now watch somebody do this. Giving away on the verses. I mean, on the on the battle cat, battle rap bros podcast though. Why somebody like do this? <laughs> I think with what versus has showed is like, I think the next evolution in that is gonna be a space for people to like do like like multiple round battles where it be like, you know, I think they already do something like this, and um, I think this is what Lupe was trying to get Royce to do against them called EO Dub, where they you know they make a song. On, like you gotta make a song on the spot type shit. It's like different challenges you gotta do to win a battle. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't gonna say necessarily that, but I think it's all kind of play spaces where it could be like, you know, niggas could battle over a beat one round. Niggas could battle acapella one round. You think niggas, that'll be wrong? You know what I'm if the artists have fan bases, cause then the battle don't necessarily have to be songs back and forth about each other it could just be who rocked the party the hardest like versus mm. you see but, what I'm saying? if you got real fans outside of battling but you got bars too it's like you could play your hit single for a round you know what i'm saying and then they could play their hit single for a round and then niggas could battle each other on some acapella battle shit see who got bars you know showing layers to that rapping artistry right you know i mean it's like I'm not just a studio artist i'm not just a spitter you know it's like i think it's a space for i don't know certain artists it could happen and I it'd think, be interesting i think that'd be a real uh like divider between certain artists because only a certain amount of artists certain amount of battle rappers could like you know rock a crowd like that you know what i'm saying that's just like the verses if you if you just come with with, with fire songs but you have no stage presence so you know what i'm saying it's like yeah yeah this was a good song but it's like man you gotta come harder than that though uh I, but i think like what you see in like with locks and dipset that was like a you know, when you get artists like that, that is like, you know, because Killer tried to hold his own. He tried to get up there and, you know, spit his bars on, what was it, Get Them Girls or something? I, for, I forgot what he did after the Jada Kiss freestyle. But it's like, you know, I'm just saying shit like that. It's like, with bigger artists, obviously, it's way easier, you know, but you would have to get active artists in order to make them want to write some new bars to battle another nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all them legends ain't finna do that. But with the up and coming artists, I feel like it's space to try and do that too. There's a lot of artists that got fan bases. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Magic, what you think about rap? Shorty spitting too. A lot. A, a whole lot. What you think about uh, rapping on beats? Is that ever gonna make a comeback?
We can't hear you. Hold on. My fault. I had muted it. Oh, okay. You yeah. Cool. But uh, no, I was saying, I know there's like a league. It's called like Verbal War Zone. And they do that type of uh, like rapping on the beat. But um, as far as like like the whole trend of it, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't really like. I mean, I, I probably could enjoy it. I mean, certain guys can actually rap like on, on instrumentals. Like other guys, they just like that ain't they element. Like they their better element is just like like a K Shine. Like K Shine's music isn't not, like not to like diss him or anything like that, but he's just. He's he's not as good on a beat as he is like when he raps acapella. Acapulco. But, yeah. Oh. But I don't know, man. It's just I just I just got so accustomed to like, you know, just the acapella, like, you know, like, you know, like um standing in front of somebody and just rapping, like that's just like how I see it now. I mean, unless I mean, cause I mean, of course I like it I like diss tracks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Which I guess is like, you know, you're battling them. But um, I don't know, man. I think I would just like prefer like how the way it is. I mean, not to say I wouldn't be, you know, in tune with battle battle rap if battle rap went in that direction. I mean, I would check it out and I would try to like support it for what it is. But it wouldn't really be like something I would be in tune to, though. Personally, yeah. Um... What if they was freestyling on the beat? Just like just yeah, rapping on it, or like, like actually like, like eight mile, mm-hmm. like one of the rounds, the DJ is gonna play a beat, and niggas got to freestyle wah, and diss each wah, other. Wah, wah, wah. You think that's weak? Yeah. Why? I think it's, for, it's not really. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, B. I was just gonna say I think for one, I feel like in, in big rooms especially crowds jump too quick or like you know what i'm saying it's like that that whole thing is like the beat keep going but you might have to like go back i don't know how that will work out you know what i'm saying that's just me, me crowds i have to shut the fuck up yeah good they luck. have to limit they re- you know like graduation what was it called we had to do the abbreviated oh, clap. <laughs> two claps <laughs> yeah they got clap, clap. like but no like like more like like wild style. People be shutting the fuck up after the bar. Yeah. Yeah, it'll you be know? a whole yeah. I mean, they a... normally do one bar at a time, but yeah. when niggas like Kanye got on there, I think Vic Mensa did it too. Niggas just running on, like getting their bars off and niggas was bobbing their head to the beat, listening for <laughs> niggas get their bars off. You know, I think I think it's a space for that for the less you know less um commercial bars because them bars is you know like for mtv and everybody right i think niggas could do that in the battle space and it could be raw as long as the beast was raw yeah Mm. it's just my my vision i see you know randomly random but uh you know uh smack and tried to get like you know you at um like some sponsors and stuff and they'll be like well it's it's very violent and stuff it's like bro y'all sponsoring ufc uh events bro it's 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 not more violent than a ufc event but you know how that go they don't want to sponsor because you know black people yeah we know yeah. right <laughs> i don't know I know when I get the, but I could speculate, so I agree with y'all for now. Right. <laughs> but you know what though? It's like sometimes, especially when it's shit like that. It's like I don't know. I ain't got to that level yet to be in the talks with nobody like that about sponsorship. But sometimes it be feeling like you know, fuck that. F- fuck the sponsorship. I mean, at least as far as I've been in life, you know, it's always fuck that. Stay independent, you know. 
As soon as somebody give you a check, they trying to tell you what the fuck you can say and what you can't say. You know? mm. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad he got the thing with Drake, though, with the whole caffeine. and He just needs to drop more battles on YouTube. That's my personal opinion. I mean... He y'all wouldn't be losing you, no money. Y'all, y'all don't think it's been getting like, like we've been seeing a little weird imagery lately? What you mean? Or it's just me. Um, we'll talk about it another time, but just like, I don't know. Certain shit. Like some some shit just, like, you know, it really weirded me out. Y'all remember how Tay Rock was looking when he battled Moot? It wasn't not strange to y'all. Not, not specifically. Dressed like a vampire or some shit. Oh, really? Oh, was that one? Was that the? I was because th- did he do the same oh, thing against daylight? daylight? Okay, yeah, yeah. that too. Yeah, yeah, because it's part of the cave. Yeah, that was a part of the Dracula. Oh, is that look. what it was? <laughs> yeah, he was calling himself. His Dracula. ass is a lame. <laughs> 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 His ass is a lame. <laughs> what? He literally wrapped around talking about how, like, why he's dressed as Dracula because he's he's Dracula. Man. Nigga, I, I just I seen like him battling him. Mook, and I'm like, what? I <laughs> I thought he was on some devil worshiping shit. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I was just getting. Yeah, into. Actually, like, yeah. It's weird shit, man. <laughs> shit, Do you, let let me talk. ask you a question because I feel like I've seen this before. Do you feel like uh like a battle rapper should listen to their audience when they say switch it up? Um so like, so, so like in, in your instance when you was talking about Tay Rock, how he was Gumbar King, now he's kinda at that point he was switching it up to be like vampire or whatever the case. But then I remember the same thing happened to uh Mm, who was it? Uh, Rum Nitty, when they was like, "You uh, you the you the son of Surf and all this," then he kind of switched it up on. Oh, I'm sorry, the son of Tay Rock. I'm but then, son of Surf. Yeah, oh, yeah, of the yeah, yeah. But then he switched it up against Tay Rock, and then I don't feel like that third was really it for real. Like you've been doing all this stuff to get you here. Maybe you shouldn't listen to because fans are fickle, bro. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, I don't want to see nobody try to change their character. You know what I mean? Like, but for Rum Nitty, it was just changing the the bars. But it's like I don't feel like. Bars now. Yeah. And then he tried to scheme in the in the third one. Yeah, like talking about the journey uh, angle and all of that. Yeah, I didn't really feel like well, it. Yeah. I wouldn't say listen to. Um, the fans per se, because a lot of the times fans don't be knowing what they talking about. Mm-mm. I would say trust your instincts as a rapper and know and be honest with yourself and know when it's time to challenge yourself and increase a level in your bardom. In the bardom, yeah. yeah. I feel like he's got to kind of stay true to that. To the gangster, you know, in your face type of thing. I feel like it depends. Because, like, all right, I'm going to throw somebody out there. So, I mean, even though he ain't as seasoned as a lot of these other guys is, but he came back to battle Cassidy. And Cassidy is just accustomed to, you know, like, rapping how he usually rap. Like, like just spitting about bars, but it's it's more than just bars when you're rapping on that stage. Like you, you gotta have presence, you gotta have like like um you know, just like it's it's more than just like, you know, like saying like different punchlines or different bars and it's supposed yeah. to win the battle. You gotta have more than that nowadays. Like maybe back then, you but, know, like it's really just But Cassidy didn't won a couple battles since he came back though. Yeah. You yeah. beat hit man holler. He no he's saying I think he's saying cause he listened to that or to his instincts or something. Yeah, because like even like when I gotta watch right, him and Hitman again because I thought he was just doing him again. No, nah, when he, he was when he would was it disaster it or no 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 it was he, goods that he went against. I'm about he, say lost, he beat disaster too. But he lost bad against he goods though. Bad. He lost the goods. Don't let him hear you say that. 
Don't <laughs> who? Cassidy. Cass. Do y'all be he seeing thought his he won? interviews, bro? He is a funny nigga, bro. I'm sure this nigga, bro, he be wanting to talk about him being the best rapper, bro, in a room full of rappers. That should be funny, yeah. bro. I be wondering, like, does he really believe? He's like, no, it? I'm the best. I mean, like, that nigga's a funny nigga, bro. I would love yeah, you to hang around that nigga. You say about a surfing Rex, like, uh, right after he battled Freeway. He First said, of all, he wait. He said he battled. He battled. T Rex or he won a battle no, T Rex. No, he said because because Surf and T Rex was talking about was was mentioning Cassidy. He was saying like, all right, how about this? Like after I, after I battle Freeway, the both of y'all can get on stage and y'all could team up if y'all want to. And like and Cassidy finna battle it. Freeway. Yeah. Oh wow, that's actually happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it's a rematch. Like I don't know if it's a rematch card or if it's just like. Just uh, they're gonna put on a, a beat. Match that's been made. They actually <laughs> the what? I said they're gonna put on a beat. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and we were talking about that, <laughs> man. Like, I ain't gonna lie, Philadelphia Freeze is one of my favorite rappers ever. The nigga is cold. Yeah. If his ass don't got nobody in his corner. Getting him ready for this after all these years, I'm gonna be disappointed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what I just want to come to battle rap after all these years, bro. I, easy, bro. I just want to uh put it on record. I don't want to see a T Rex battle, I'm, I'm straight on that. Damn, yeah, I'm good. What Danny Myers tell him, these people pay money. They don't want to hear mixtape verse. <laughs> don't spit that. Yeah, so if you be, if That's he what he's doing, man. Yeah. He come with the mixtape verses. It'd be like, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I ain't gonna say who else just did it. Yes, I am. But Reed they was... Dollars just came with a mixtape verse. I guess it will. He be you said who? Reed Dollars. Reed Dollars. He be coming yeah. with a mixtape. He, he, he had some battle rap verses too, though. It was raw, but he had some mm -hmm. mixtape shit in there too. It's like, man, this is ill will, bro. You gotta mm -hmm. ill will. Well, he ain't a no legend, home. you know. He ain't being disrespectful in the culture, so I guess niggas is just like, man, let him eat, let him rock, you know. Yeah, I actually got Reed winning that too. Him in the ill will battle. Mm -hmm. You got Reed dollars winning that. <laughs> I said what I said, guys. <laughs> yes. BZB, did you see it? I ain't, I ain't see it. I, you sent it to me, though, right? I watched it three times, so that's the only reason why I'm saying that. Bro, that's a 30. Nah. No. Oh. Okay, yeah. what'd you get it? I'm sorry, guy. I got I to gotta disagree on that. Oh, man. He didn't, he didn't get 30. Even if Will might have won two one, he didn't get thirty. He he didn't first like I think the first could go either way, but the second round went to Reed, and the third round he ended it short. Not to say that he loses it because he ended it short, but I don't feel like he said anything that was like I don't know. I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna watch it again. I'm gonna have I'm to watch, watch it again. too because I'm gonna watch it again after this just to make sure. And if I mm -hmm. if I really was wrong, I'm gonna definitely uh send y'all. Send y'all an apology letter, like, hey man, you know what? I was in the in the moment, and I might have judged before I really paid attention to who said what. Reed Dollars yeah. winning against Ill Will, I don't see it. Yeah, not in twenty twenty two or twenty twenty one. But I ain't see him re winning against Rum though at all. Reed Dollars beat Rum Nitty. Yes, I ain't see that battle. Now I'm gonna be. Yeah, we should. I want to see that. Yeah, if we could, we should try to watch that next, if if possible. But otherwise, like, yeah, that's definitely a battle that um that y'all should check out because um he called Rum lacking just because Rum didn't really you know take him that serious. He didn't really write for him. It's like, always, you know, he's trying to kill him like all it's these always, other niggas. It's always how it happened. It happened against Conceded and B Magic. Nobody thought B Magic was gonna win because he's like. You know, oh, it's just be magic, man. Mm -hmm. 
B Magic came with that fire. And this was probably like 2012 or 2013, something like that. It's an old battle, but that's a classic, though. He was he was getting all conceited. Mm-hmm. This is when he was still rapping before Wild Magic. Now. Yeah, he was still being Magic then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And again, he's a play, you bro. should never, never underestimate. Ain't that one of the 48 Laws of Power? Mm. I think right. so. I don't, I don't know. I only got to like the third or fourth law. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh my god! I ain't gonna cap with you. <laughs> I ain't even gonna tell, man. I'm on the twelfth, so I mean, <laughs> I was just gonna comment like uh, I ain't read the whole thing yet, but I think that's uh, that's in there though. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah. If it ain't in the Forty Eight Laws of Power. Uh, that's a busy law of power. Don't ever <laughs> underestimate nobody. Why? Because tables always turn. Tables always turn. You could be as talented as you want to, but if somebody else working harder, that talent don't mean nothing if they working hard and then they getting good at like anything that you do. You could you could get good at, bro. Like it's not really like a a, a secret. You know, magic potion that nobody drink, bro. It's like niggas be working right. hard. Then you look up, you like, damn, I didn't even know he was rapping like this. When he start rapping like this, <laughs> hey, on the set, he said, hey, yo, yo, not, not to cut you off, B, right quick, but like, did you see? Did you all see um, uh, Dre Dennis versus Geechee Gotti? Uh, uh-uh. uh, because that that was that that kind of like. I feel like ties into that, like, cause Dre Dennis, he probably rapped the best that he ever, ever, ever could in his life versus, versus Geechee Gotti. And Geechee was like, so you decided to just like go super saying against me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, but. I'd be mad I too. Know, if a nigga just get raw against me. <laughs> Damn, bro. Like, where you been at your last three you get battles? Raw against me. What the right. fuck? Right. What you want, G? You was man. weak before me, nigga. I came with my little get by shit. You was weak. <laughs> now you finna be raw against me? What the fuck? I be mad. Bogus sell on the gas. You bogus, shorty. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody in here like, damn, dude, just got raw as hell against his. <laughs> like, how you do that? Yeah, against me, that of all people. Against me? Right. That's I know common. Hitman was saying that same thing when he was finna battle Cash. Like he was like, "No, nah, I gotta get him out of here because I don't want to be that guy that he figured this out again. So I gotta get him up out of here." This this was after the face off, of course, not the battle. Mm. But yeah, and then Cash turned up on him. Mm. I, I feel like that. I feel like another trend that was like dope was the two on twos. I know Mark. He was not on the two on two for a long time. He was not on the two on twos. I'm like, bro, nigga, uh-huh. you need to watch this two on two. He was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I was cool. It is raw. I seen some raw ass two on twos. Though. Yo, two on twos went crazy. Why you don't like it? I no, it wasn't that I don't like it. I just wasn't interested when it first was promoted to me. Beezy was the first oh. person to send me some. I used to see it. Like, you know, in the YouTube links, and I yeah. go past all of those. And then he sent it to me. I'm like, no, I'm cool. I don't really want to see that right now. Pshaw. But it was also at a time when I was just getting back into watching. And it's like, man, I was trying to learn the one rappers at a time because there was a whole bunch <laughs> of people I didn't know. So I'm like, let me just focus on, let me see who's raw before I start seeing who's raw together because a person's uh a battler's um what's the word I'm looking for? Their weaknesses can be hidden, you know, when you're doing two on twos and shit. Versus when yeah. you gotta stand up that long, you know. Yeah. I was trying to see who was the rawest niggas outside. No, I feel no, I agree though, like I wasn't in tune like well, I mean not not to say you weren't in tune, but me like I wasn't Almost like you, like I wasn't like really like tuned in to battle rap how I am right now. Like when uh like when they was doing like a whole bunch of two on twos, like like when um when Geechee and K Shine, I mean Geechee and Rum and K Shine and DNA when they rap, 
I wasn't really in tune to the whole like two on two because it's like okay, like like why are they doing like team ups and everything like that, like for a whole card and everything. But when I actually watched the battles, like I actually I I, I enjoyed them. Like I enjoy watching Rum and uh Rum and Geechee work. And then K Shine and DNA, you know, like do they whole like, you know, chemistry, like of like bars and everything. Like it, it was pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Like it took me a minute to like get in to really like it personally, but like it just it shows like the the creativity, like the like the writing on, on both ends, like how they can just like, you know, mesh both of their bars and their styles together, like in order to like, you know, give a great performance. Mm-hmm. But yeah, two on two, dope, two on two arrows, pretty dope. I like that one. Geechee and uh Swamp versus Tay Rock and Easy. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a really good one. See, now, this is what I will say that I don't like about two on twos. I don't like everybody <clears throat> like homie hopping having different partners are like you remember how like when you used to watch wrestling it'd be like a tag team and they'd be only tag team with each other right i wish i seen that more in battle right it seemed like it's too much like it's almost like the nba like niggas get traded to different teams too much like you know yeah like oh i'm gonna do a battle with you all right and then i'm gonna do something with you you know it's almost like you know they doing it for the algorithm. That's not the algorithm. That's funny mm-hmm. though, because uh, John John the Don was with Charlie Clips, and then he was against Charlie Clips. You remember that? He was uh, Charlie yeah. And Goods. He's, yeah, Charlie Clips and Goods. Yeah, with Hitman. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, with Hitman. Weird Man. shit. I How thought we it was battling together. Yeah. Now we against each other. Weird shit. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> right, John John and Hitman. <laughs> And him man was uh was tag teaming with who was it, Verb? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were out against T Top and Briz, yeah. Man, where is Briz at, man? Man, bro, I hope he got a contract that he that he need to sign, man. Like he was real. on he was on the upward tra- trajectory for sure. Whenever he come back, he gon he gonna have some big plates. Yeah, I feel like I want to see him and Rock throwing a rematch. Oh, Briz or and Rock, him, or him versus Twerk. That'd be crazy. I always go back to him versus Arsenal. That was a really good battle. Mm-hmm. He said rounds it all right? on his top. Call that a sombrero or something like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> what you were saying though? Nothing. Briz was raw. Right. At one like point, the, that was my uh, favorite. He was back to back with it. Facts. That, yeah, that was, was that was that was my nigga first, and then and then it was Rum, and uh and then um J C. But I know you say you know J C. Not your man's though. <laughs> man, you got a high pin, man. Facts. No, he but well, he ain't he gotta got talk all that gun, all that gun talk though, B. You say he, he don't have like, to. He don't have to. I mean, I understand if he does do it, then it's like, eh, I don't believe that. But I mean, he could just kill a nigga like you know, like with intricate bars and everything, and just like pick up a dub that way. Yeah. Did you see him against Iron Solomon? He broke him down with re- religion bars. Did he? Yeah, it was it was a cold battle too. We broke him down. I'm about to I'm about to give it a listen. You know he JC and then Iron Solomon is a Jew, so. Mm. Mm-hmm. And he got the top. Yeah, he did the same thing to uh, the father too. That was crazy. Oh, did he? Mm-hmm. The saga. Yeah. I don't really like. I don't really like the Christian bars. I don't know. Hey, G, I was gonna ask you that. I was gonna make that a topic one day. Like, like, how do you all feel about that? Like, like Christian battle rappers. Like, are they? Because it's like I get, you know, I get they say, you know, like we're Christians and we battle rap, but it's like if you're saying different stuff about harming somebody when it's like, you know, it's supposed to be like what brotherly love and 
and nah. you talking about like shooting somebody. You ever read the Bible? No, I have. But Jesus I'm saying like, and them was turning it up. <laughs> not Jesus and them. <laughs> Jesus ran up in the synagogue turning up. Yeah, he was not for none of that. He uplicking everything. <laughs> not the uplick. <laughs> he pulled the sword out. That's true. Yeah, I, nah, I I'm just, just saying I don't like, like Christian I mean, rap. Either. I don't mind them being having violent bars, but I, I think they serve a purpose because it's a it's a it's a real space in the world. It's a religious, you know what I'm saying, section of the world. So if they talented, I don't be minding it. Yeah. Yeah, if they talented. Heavy on the if they talented. As long as they not preachy. Nobody like getting preached to. You know? Yeah. Well, I feel like that was a good good amount of topics. Guys who watched the battle. That was good. So well I say we say next week. We we'll get together what we talk about for next week. Anybody got any closing remarks in the benediction? Come on, man. Read <laughs> <laughs> that. Three dollars, dude. Oh, yikes. I'm, I'm surprised Tay Rock ain't cut off your internet when you called him Wayne. <laughs> like Averb did. <laughs> nah, that damn Dracula outfit was lame, bro. Uh, don't forget the contact. Maybe just because I didn't get it until just now when y'all see it because it's the cave. Right, so right, right. D- maybe yeah. I'm a goofy for not getting it all of this time. <laughs> but Did you see him in daylight? No. I seen... You know what? Yes, I did. Yes, I did see him in daylight. Yeah, in daylight was time. daylight was hurting him. Hmm? That was during during COVID, right? Yeah. They was separate. Yeah, daylight was hurting him. It wasn't even. That. It right. wasn't even daylight versus Tay Rock. It was daylight versus daylight. Yeah, I remember that. <sighs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I ain't got no closer remarks, man. You know. What's up? Um, we gonna get some old Chicago battles on here. I oh, like that, shorty. Me. Keep rapping like that, shorty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like my, my favorite part is the the Chicago the Chicago commentary around the battle, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro, bro you was there. You know, we was really outside out here. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We was in attendance for this one. Mm-hmm. On the guys, I was really on the nine. Fuck you talking about? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, we definitely gotta do more of those. Yeah, support the city for uh, sure. Man, see, these topics, man, like, these be hitting, man, like, for real, like, I can't wait to the next one, like, I already know Will, because, I mean, like I said, like, even though I might have Reed winning against Ill Will, which I'm actually going to go back and watch it as soon as I get off, but it's it's always good, like, when we all have, like, our, our difference of opinions, and just, like, you know, boys were like, uh, I don't know, bro, I can't agree with that one, and it's always, like, you know, it's always good energy and all of that, like, discussing, mm-hmm. like, this uh, you know, this battle shit that we we in tune to. Yes, sir. So, oh, I appreciate you, brothers. Yes, sir. I right, for sure. So well, we see y'all next week. And uh, all right, please. And <laughs> here we out.